Hi, welcome to Pastor's Weekly Devotion. Um, taking the text that we'll be doing um, for Lent midweek, it's a very intimate um, event in Jesus' life. In fact, uh, as I read it, you'll probably feel the, the sorrow, the pain, the grief, the agony that he is about to go through. It reads like this. Then Jesus went with them to a place called Gethsemane. And he said to his disciples, sit here while I go over there and pray. And taking with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee, he began to be sorrowful and troubled. And then he said to them, my soul is very sorrowful, even to death. Remain here and watch with me. And going a little farther, he fell on his face. And he prayed these words. My father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Never, nevertheless, not as I will, but as you will. And as you know, he does this three times. And each time he prays, he goes back to check on his disciples. And we find out they're not praying. I don't know if you've ever done this. You've asked others to pray with you, pray for you. And that's what Jesus was doing. He was just looking for support. It, it comforts someone who is agonizing to know that there's others who are praying for you. It's a good feeling, isn't it? When someone says, I've been praying for you. You feel like, wow, I've been lifted to the throne of God and Someone kept me in their thoughts and prayers. Jesus wanted the same from his disciples. He didn't get it. What he does get is a very unique position when he prays to the Lord. A lot of times when you pray, you might be standing. I know in church, I was just checking our um, bulletin. We pray about four or five times. Uh, in a non-communion Sunday. And with a communion, it kind of doubles. So you can imagine just praying on a Sunday morning. We pray almost eight times, and we pray together. But rarely do we have our prayer position on our knees, at least in our church. Some churches have kneelers where you can pray. Jesus is on his face, and he's pouring out his heart to his Father. He addresses God as his Father, and I guess that's why we do that too. We pray like Jesus, and actually he teaches to pray, addressing God as our Father. As the Father listens to his children, so Jesus was asked that his Father listen to his plea. Of course, he asked for a cup to be removed. I don't know if you've ever known what that cup involved. Most of the time, we just think the cup that he wants removed is not a regular cup. We're not holding a cup like a coffee cup. But what is inside that cup is um, suffering, agony, pain, and even death. That was the cup he wanted removed. But as you know, in most of our prayers, we come to our Father not to ask Him for our will to be done. We want this, Lord. We need this, Lord. We want you to heal this in us, Lord. No, His prayer normally ends like ours should. Not our will be done, but your will be done. And so Jesus does this, asking the Lord's will to be done. And it is. He will suffer. He will die. But I guess a lot of times when Jesus comes over to his disciples, he'll say this to you too. Pray so you don't enter temptation. Most of the time when we do pray, it's because we've already entered into temptation and we ask for forgiveness. But here Jesus is just knowing what's going to come before him and not to fall into any temptation. And so he tells his disciples, stay awake and watch. Don't enter temptation. And so we find one more thing about this. I'd like to conclude with 
is he does it more than once. Uh, he does it multiple times. It's just to let us know that sometimes we need to pray that prayer just more than once. Pray often. Pray continually. And let your request, your thanksgivings be known to him. And let his will be done in your life. It was done in Jesus' time. And it was for you and I. That we would not have to go through the same punishment, the same judgment, the same condemnation, the same pain and suffering, the same death as he did on the cross. Let's pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen.